Got him. So John, um, Vibrant Boots been out for about six months or so. How are things going? What's the what's the what's reception? the buzz? Yeah. Well, you know the the biggest challenge right now with Vibram is we just can't get them in fast enough. Um, the, the response has been just completely overwhelming from the marketplace. Obviously, you guys at the River's Edge um, took a very strong leadership position in going all Vibram this year, and uh, you know the word on the street is everyone's really excited about it. You know, and, and again, our biggest challenge is we just can't get them in stock fast enough. And uh, the markets responded. You know, they're they're looking for them. They're buying them. They're, they're done with felt. You know, and a lot of uh, a lot of shops out there so uh, it's been phenomenal and the great thing is is that we don't have any felt in our line in 2010 next year as you, you know if you've seen the new product line um, within our boot category so. how um, you know I know that there's consumers there's still a little bit of skepticism you know when guys are fishing particularly real slick places yeah you know and I know that there's some stud options that you have now yep and uh, it sounds like you have some things coming here we in the do. future we do you know one of the great things about the whole Vibram story is that they're designed to work in all types of conditions. And one of the things that we learned right from the get-go in developing rubber sole boots is that there's just some conditions that they're just not going to work good in. Nothing's going to work good in a condition unless it has some type of a stud system in it. So one of the things that we designed into the Stream Tread sole design was the ability to drop studs into any one of these receptacles in the bottom of the boot. And we currently have a, um, a Vibram hard bite stud that works in that. It's a, it's a traditional hex head stud um, which gives you good traction but what you can see in this sample right here is a new stud that's coming out in November from Sims which is called the Star Cleat, the hard bite Star Cleat. John, where, where would a customer want or need to use studs in a boot? Well, you know, that would really depend on, on the fishing conditions that, that they're in. Um, Typically, when you're in a, a river that has a, a lot of moss, a lot of vegetation, um, a lot of things that traditionally felt or rubber would slip on, that, that, would, um, that would be the type of environment that a person would be looking for studs. And again, the nice thing about this Vibram sole is that if you encounter a river or a situation like that where you need studs, you can pop them in. And I popped these studs in this morning in about two minutes. And uh, if you get in a situation where you don't want studs, or if you're in a a nice drift boat with a guide who maybe doesn't want studs in his boat, you can pop them out. So there's a lot of versatility with studding the, the stream tread. Boot. One of the things that a lot of people find when they're wearing, wearing studs in boots is that if you're in a river that's very mossy that, that requires the stud, you'll get that added traction that you'll need. But sometimes when you're walking on you know, very clean rock, um, a lot of times studs will feel kind of skaty. You know, that's a complaint that a lot of people have had over the years. Um, and if you look at a traditional stud, the reason why that happens is that you're actually raised off of the rubber when you have a stud in the boot, and you're basically standing on the metal stud. And if you're on smooth rock, a lot of times that stud will, will slide and skate a bit. And um, one of the nice things about the new stud system coming out, the new Star Cleat, is that it's a much lower profile stud. You can tell just by looking at it. You don't have those studs protruding quite as high out, so it completely eliminates that skating feel that you'll get sometimes with a, with a traditional stud system. And more importantly, you're getting the combination of the bite from metal and also the bite from rubber. You're really getting the best of both worlds grabbing onto the rocks when, when, you're, rock, when you're walking on them. Well, let's zoom in here and, uh, and we'll take a look. Okay. okay, so what's unique about the new stud system um, as compared to the current one that's in the line. The current, the current hard bite stud fits into this circular receptacle right here. It gives you a pretty damn good amount of traction. Um, but if you look at the new star cleat, you'll notice that it fits into this entire triangulated area right here, really giving you about three times as much carbide bite as you're getting in our traditional screw out there. And you'll also notice too, if you look really closely here, these are actually carbide chunks. Um, which are a little bit different than what we currently have in our stud, which is more of a carbide pellet. Um, what we found is that these chunks are a lot more durable um, when, you're, when you're walking long distances. They don't tend to break off quite as easily. Um, and then the other really nice thing too, if you look at it from a profile standpoint, is that you can see a much lower profile now with this stud system. So you're, again, you're getting that bite of carbide and also the bite of Vibram when you're out there walking. 